example of swimming, right? Uh, you the books, the little manuals on swimming, the little like tutorials, they can't, they can't really grasp the um, ineffable feel of the water, right? When you're swimming, one of the things that you feel if you take like two days off of swimming, um, you feel right away, you lose that. There's a kind of special connection you have to the water that's felt in your hands. Every stroke requires some form of sculling where your hands are kind of like moving through the water at certain angles and then allowing you that, that, that allow you to kind of get a strong grasp on the water that allows you to, the, to move your hips, right? Um, the same is for backstroke, right? When you're on your back, like you, you reach like this little part of the stroke where your fingers are kind of like grabbing the water, right? You, you, the manuals can't really represent that in a good way. And in fact, even the words that I use are probably grasping at straws in some ways. So does anybody have like an example of that, of something that's kind of ineffable, physically ineffable, that's hard to kind of represent without you actually doing it, without being immersed, right? Without throwing yourself into the fire of action. <laughs> 